Hey everyone, welcome to episode two of the whole vlog series we have going on here. And today we just have the same kind of stuff we had to talk about last time. I'm going to continue on with a few of the topics we started with, and also going to continue on a few new things. And uh, first off, start this video with the same thing I started the other one with, and that is well, last last video if you didn't see that, I announced that I was getting married. That happened on May first, 2014. And then afterwards we went to Niagara Falls for the weekend. And thank you everyone for your congratulations. There's lots of good comments after that video. Uh, so thank you very much. We appreciate it. And that's about it. Yeah, anyway, when we were there, we went to Niagara Falls, uh, the Canadian side, because I am Canadian. And we did visit the US side just to see what was over there. We wanted to see what the view was like from over there. And it, I think the Canadians definitely have the better view. It definitely seems like the Canadians have more tourists attractions, the whole Clifton Hill thing, um, but maybe we were just looking in the wrong place in the U.S., we were only there for a couple of hours, really, we just went there to, to check out the view from that side, uh, with that, the platform the U.S. side has, and uh, which access to this time of year is free, by the way. I think you have to pay other times, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, but other than that, we just went and bought a t-shirt just to say we were there, and that's about it. Uh, but yeah, thanks again for all your congratulations, it's much appreciated. Uh, so let's move on to another topic here. Uh, so remember last time I was talking about the whole headset thing? I ended up spending a little more money than I should have. I took that Razer headset back and I have the Astro A40. So I must say, it costs a little more than I wanted to spend. And these things come off. Haha! -ha. So you can get customized plates that say like Battlefield 4 or whatever you want on there. And you can see there you can move the, uh, the microphone that's on that side over to this side if you want, but I'm going to keep it to the left because that's what I'm used to. But they're, they're pretty nice, they're very comfy, they smell like new furniture, still. <laughs> Give them a few more weeks and they'll smell like stinky, sweaty head. Um, but yeah, they're pretty nice. I think I need to mess with the uh, the audio a little bit more. You'll notice in my next videos the audio level is a little bit different. I think that there's an issue with the drivers from my, uh, my motherboard and the HD sound, the Realtek sound. So I think because the other headset was USB. This one has the, uh, I'll show you, has these. So one for the mic, one for the, uh, the headset itself, the headphones. And it unplugs at the headset too. So that's handy. And halfway through the core there's an adapter so I can plug it into like my phone if I want to to listen to music. And it looks like the mic will come off but I haven't tried yet. I don't want to pull at it too hard because I don't want to break it and there's no documentation with it on how to do that, so um, I'll have to look it up one day. Um, but yeah, it's a nice headset, it's very comfy, it sounds good. I didn't get the uh, the whole system, I, don't, I forget what they call it, but it gives you 7.1 surround, so I guess it's stereo sound right now. Well, that's what I had in the old one, and it sounded pretty good, so I'm not complaining. But I think I like the USB idea of headsets better. Uh, but I might have to try getting a USB to whatever those line in and head phone cables are because I don't know it's just not working I have to turn up the mic boost all the way and then it causes a lot of white noise and anyway I'll figure it out eventually but for a little while it's gonna be how it is uh, how it was in the last BMNG drive video I just put out and there is more of those coming I've got two two videos for uh, modded maps one of those is over half an hour long so sorry uh, and then there's then there's one for a certain car that had a demolition derby because I thought it would be a good one to have a demolition derby with. Um, other than that, we've got Watch Dogs coming to the channel soon. That's coming out May 27th. The game's coming out May 27th. I hope to have a video out of it in the next couple of days after that. But we'll see how my scheduling goes. Um, but you guys seem pretty excited for Watch Dogs, and I'm pretty excited for it. So it should be pretty good. I had a live stream of the day. I don't know if any, how many of you guys were actually there. We only had the usual, maybe ten viewers at one point, kind of thing. I think twelve was the most we got to, and that was including my, uh, my, internet browser tab open to it, watching it just to make sure everything went smoothly. Um, but yeah, that was fun. I played War Thunder Ground Forces there. If you missed it, it's all up on YouTube now. You can watch the whole archive. Uh, I put all my live streams up on YouTube after. But one thing we talked about in the live stream was the whole Spreadshirt idea. And what that means is you guys can buy t-shirts and stuff like mugs too and handbags and whatever uh, with certain things that may be related to my channel on there. So I could give you my channel art and you can put that on a coffee mug if you wanted 
or my logo on a t-shirt, whatever, you know? And a lot of people in the live stream chat really like that idea. As you'll see if you watch the live stream, uh, it's talked about a lot. Uh, but I'm probably going to do that relatively soon. I've got a few things set up for it. Ooh, floating hair. <laughs> small things, small minds. Uh, but we're going to do that soon, soon enough. Uh, and then once we have that up, I'll allow you guys to submit your own designs you can possibly get on t-shirts. So if you guys have any fan artwork you want to do, then you can submit that. Uh, the best way to do that, if you have any right now you want to submit, that it's somehow related to me, then you can just message me on YouTube. That's probably the best way for now. Um, speaking of live streams, though, had an internet upgrade a little while ago, so I'm getting a better package for the same price from the same ISP because Rogers is awesome, and every year or so they upgrade their packages and don't increase the price. So I call them up, I'm like, hey, how can I get this uh, this 10 megabyte upload rather than the 3 megabyte upload? And I doubled my download speed from 30 to 60 as well. And uh, it's pretty awesome. So I'm able to live stream much easier with less lag. Um, it's still 720p. The XSplit broadcaster I use, it seems like it wasn't wanting to do it 1080p. So I might have to try a different broadcaster one day. Um, but for now, I, I pay for XSplit. So we'll see how that goes. Um, if you have any suggestions for good ones, then I might try that out. Otherwise, I, I think there's uh, one I have in mind. Uh, but for future live streams, if you guys message me on World of Tanks, remember I'm on the North American server, if you message me on there, then I'll just add you to my friends list, and then if I'm in a live stream and we have like a, a training room open to all the subscribers, then I'll send you an invite, because it will be a, a private training room, but I'll invite you guys if you just send me a message in game. But uh, otherwise, if you message me now, and I'll add you to my friends list, then the next time I have one, if you're not aware that the live stream's going on or whatever, then I'll just invite you to the room, uh, because I'll invite everybody on my friends list. Um, and so far there's always been room for, for lots of people so hopefully it stays that way for a little while but we'll see with the channel growing um, and the last thing I want to talk about is something that I've kind of had back and forth about for a while ever since I really started the channel and that is accepting donations from you guys and I, I feel guilty saying that but uh, I think it's for the best and the reason for that is well when the headset died right now financially that hurt um, so that put me behind a little bit, uh, but what Patreon lets me do, and I'll put a link in the description for this, is it lets you guys uh, become a patron by submitting, uh, by donating a certain amount each month, and you can choose whatever you want. It can be a hundred dollar, or it can be a dollar, it can be a hundred dollars a month, whatever. And there's certain perks that you guys will get, so that ranges from everything from uh, just a, a shout out in a video, or just the. It all depends on the dollar amount, and it's all on my page, by the way. Uh, to just your name in the description of all the future videos to heck, I could even sing a song if you donate enough but don't worry I won't be cheap I won't put you guys through that for nothing because I am a terrible singer um, but uh, you could even decide what game I'm playing next <laughs> uh, I decided one thing on there and these terms might change the d details on these things but if they do change then I'm not going to rip you guys off like it's not going to be Oh, you donated two dollars ago, and then I added more perks. And you're, well, you're going to get those new perks too, and the old ones. Uh, so I won't rip you off in that way. Um, let's see. So what I announced before is that I'm going to do a 10-hour live stream for the 10,000 subscriber special, and that's going to be in the first half of July. I don't have a specific day set yet. I'll s probably let you guys know that around July 1st-ish. Um, but, however, right now we're at uh, on the Patreon website, and I haven't even publicly announced it. I've just had a link in the description of videos. Uh, there is, so far, two people donating $5 a month each, which, thank you very much, it's much appreciated. Uh, but if, so that puts us to a total of $10 a month right now. So I decided if we get to $100 a month, I'll turn that 10-hour live stream into a 24-hour live stream. That could be interesting, but also it would mean that everybody, regardless of time zone, as long as you don't have a whole lot of work to do, uh, would be able to join in, come in and check out the live stream for at least a few minutes. And uh, I'll, I'll try to have it on a weekend to live stream, by the way, but I don't know for sure. It all depends when my schedule works out for work and then uh, all that stuff. But uh, anyway, give a few dollars, that would be much appreciated. And. Uh, don't feel bad if you ever have to stop with the monthly thing. I 
completely understand. Uh, but that's about it. Uh, spin tires, that was successful on my channel. I want to play Pixel Piracy, but it probably won't happen for a little while, especially since the game has a few bugs that it's still working out. Uh, but it does seem to be getting frequent updates on Steam, so that's good. If you don't know what Pixel Piracy is, then you can check that out on Steam too. It's a relatively cheap game. It's not a $60 AAA title. Uh, one thing I will do if you donate a certain amount, I think it's $5, I'll answer your question. Uh, any question you may ask, within reason of course. And um, I'll answer it in a video. It might have its own specific video, or it might just be at the beginning of one of the related videos. Uh, one of the series I do on my channel, it could really be anything like that. Uh, but yeah, anyway, you can see the whole list of perks. There's a few more things than that. Um, some big things, some small things. You can check that out on the Patreon link, which will be in the description, as I said. And that's enough of Patreon <laughs> for now. Uh, Minecraft, I want to bring that back, but ever since I upgraded my graphics driver a few weeks ago, it's been really buggy. I had a friend's computer who completely had to restore from a restore point because the driver broke their computer so much. So if you have an AMD, right? Yeah, if you have AMD graphics, don't update your driver for a few weeks. Just let them fix out, work out all those bugs. And, um, yeah, that's going to be it. Hopefully once there's another update for that driver, I can get Minecraft going again. It seems to have caused problems with Java, and I've tried reinstalling that and everything, but that doesn't seem to help. Uh, but anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. I much appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it again. This one's not going to be 27, 28 minutes long with the last one. <laughs> Oops, that was too long. Anyways, see you later. Bye.